Hello and welcome back to StarCraft where today we're jumping right into the weekly brawl and this one this one is a doozy. This one is one of the more aggressive weekly brawl options available. So let's go to go ahead and exploit that by jumping, putting down a bunch of Zerglings right now. So the weekly mutations on this week landed on Aura, which allows us to choose a powerful, uh, well, passive benefit. I think this time we're going to go with the additional plus two damage. Uh, but what makes this really interesting is that we start with additional resources, so I can do things like get extra Zerglings at the start, and then Discharge, which is the most important, which removes all shields from the base starting structures. So, this guy, this Photon Cannon, any damage we deal to him will be permanent. There's no, there's no shield that can recharge to come back, so that means if we go very aggressive, with my teammates and I, uh, well then we can kind of we can kind of wipe the floor. So unfortunately, there's a Rainer uh, going with full vultures, which is a quick way to. Oh, ah, ooh boy, spine crawlers. That's a mistake. Oh dear, we didn't put these down. That's unfortunate. Oh dear, Rainer and also Kerrigan. Oh dear, oh my. Oh, that's permanent damage on our bunker. No! Uh, so there's going to be spider mines left behind, and spider mines are really good at cleaning cleaning up. So I don't want to be going going zerglings after he puts down a bunch of spider mines, which means... Ooh, dear. We need to keep them way pushed back in order to, for me to avoid these spider mines. As Zagara, most of my wave is going to be these kind of melee-type suicide units, so I want to be avoiding that kind of damage. Now, I think... I think we'll get some damage onto their turret here. Yeah, yeah, that's oh, oh, okay. That was uh, that was fast. Hi, they they cleaned up my units real quick here. We can need to get to tier three as soon as possible. There we go. So if we can get to tier three, then we can get the aberrations. And once an aberration gets on this turret, it's over. Cause you know they spawn they spawn the splitterlings when they die, and then it's just ooh, even even more damage than that. But because we have a lot of these, um, well, banelings, or not banelings, spider mines out, we're going to have to have a rather tanky wave. And that means uh, we're, we're kind of forced away from the the mass zergling, mass baneling kind of composition, and more into the mass queen composition at a cigar. Otherwise, we're just going to end up with a wave that dies entirely to the spider mines, which is very unfortunate. It does appear that one of them has gone for uh, scout rush, which is... Oh, all right, so they've got a lot of aircrafts. This is either very well thought out or very poorly thought out. And so if they go for something like S Scout Rush plus Galleon Rush, I can just build a bunch of Zerglings and completely clearing every single one of them. Just ignore the air, just f roll underneath and just slaughter the base. Unless they have a bunch of spider mines. So, um, that's uh, either very well thought out or very lucky on their part. And you know... We're gonna have to gonna have to work around that, and that that can be done with things like the aberration. If the aberration is tanky enough to survive some spider mines, it's tanky enough to survive a lot of spider mines. But once it it won't make it all the way across the field unless we have something like queens behind to heal it up. So if we get some queens behind to heal it up, then all we have to do is just march across with some aberrations that tank the shots with the queens to heal up, and well, that will be the game because. They don't have anti... a lot. They don't have anything on the ground. Like these marauders, they're just walking... Nothing is sto physically stopping the units from... From... Yeah, just walking across and ending the game. And because there's just no d extra defenses, there's no shields on the turrets, it's just gonna... It's, it's, it's just gonna die. You get... You gotta... You gotta do things. You gotta do things to stop it. I mean, the, the spider mines are real good. Uh, their Rainer is not not investing heavily enough into the uh, into the vultures here. They're probably starting the transition to something else. But oh boy, yep, that's just that's more scouts. Good thing we got anti-air. Queen's a queen's a good unit. Alright, let me let me put down an aberration here. Just right on top of Zagara. Get all the bonuses. There we go. Just there we go. We need to have you, we need to have you guys down so you can start getting those. And then we'll put down our our frenzy ability. Let's put the, let's start the frenzy right now. That way we can get the extra damage output on units like Zagara just to clear out these aircraft. There we go. Goodbye, galleons. Our Zagars are still alive. Oh dear. Here. 
All right, other Zagara comes in. I see there are the Banshees. Very good. Get some splash damage on the Nexus. Come on, do it, do it, do it. Just just damage the Nexus. I realize we're getting shot. I could scan to try to take those out, but damage on the Nexus is good damage because that's permanent damage. All right, so we're going to need, we're gonna need detection here before the next wave starts. We're still, that's fine. Uh, we can just scan to clear out the Banshees or the Banshees are gonna be eliminated. One of the two. All right, looks like they're, they're starting to get some ground forces. A few Zealots. The Phoenix was, has been there a couple rounds. Let's see if our Rainer friend... Oop, not with the Widow Mines coming up. Yeah, that's gonna hurt. Ouch. Oh, God. Well, then we'll have to... Uh, we'll have to clean everything up ourselves. We only have one aberration, so it's not gonna be that... Uh, that all-powerful source of destruction that we need it to be. But it will at least try. It will do its best. How are these queens doing? The queens are gonna get overwhelmed by that Galleon DPS. Alright, come on. Come on, Aberration. When you die, you take everything with you. Very good. No more ground forces out of them. Only a couple Banshees survive. We need more anti-air, which can be provided in the form of Scourge. Or more queens. Or both. Well, probably both, to be honest. Yeah. We still have the option of just ignoring the aircraft and going straight across the field, which at this point is probably going to be the better option. As long as we can clear out most of the ground forces from these guys and just have a bunch of aberrations walk across, we can just do some more damage to their base. And because there's no shields, every wave we spawn will just deal more and more damage. As long as they don't completely overwhelm, which is starting to happen. But as long as it doesn't happen, we should be good to just walk across and just keep dealing more damage. Yeah. Alright, so it looks like they're starting to get some ground forces here. Okay then, uh, I'll just do the Zagara thing and just wipe out everything. Just all the units, just straight, just straight obliterate all the things. Let's do this. Three. Put a couple of these guys up. Corruptors for the purposes of tanking and then a Scourge backline for the purposes of slaughtering. Should solve everything. We just gotta work our work that direction. Put down this guy before the wave spawns. Thank you. And detection. Right here. There we go. And we'll just uh, get one more corruptor before doing the wave of scourge. There we go. The hydras look like they're starting to starting to actually survive long enough to get more damage off on the scouts. Go. Man, these Deimos Vikings, they are so strong. Well, you know, if it works, it works. Alright. Time for Torask. Oh, oh, well, that'll just go running through everything. Come on, clean out these guys. Oh dear. Oh no. Okay, well, uh, almost, almost punched through to their base. And it's where my Scourge is lining you up all the way back here. We require more minerals. Come on, one more. One more, one more, one more. Alright, nice. Next up, we're gonna get some upgrades here. Need the Scourge upgrade to give them AoE damage. There it is. Come on. It's so close. We're like so close to just touching their base a little bit more. Come on. Alright, Frenzy, get in there. Do the damage you need. Oh! Oh, he managed to save it for a Hyperion. Oh, this is over, guys. This is this is not a game mode. This is not a weekly brawl where you can where you can sit back. You have to be super aggro in this one, and this is exactly why. G G. And we're off to round two, and as you guys know, we are going to be very, very active here in the early stages of this match, so I'm just going to skip right on to it. We've started off with the Phoenix Commander this time, as I do like playing random just to spice it up, and it looks like, oh, I can only get... Only get this many. This is fine. We'll go ahead and auto cast you. Start the aura selection. I can do life per second damage. Eh, uh, definitely life per second as our zealots have uh, a fair bit of fair bit of life associated with them. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and get the, uh, the zealot charge and see what we're facing off against here. Fire bats. All right. So fire bats. Uh, very good versus zealots. Fortunately, we have more zealots than they have fire bats, so we're just going to win that. But how much damage are we going to get onto this turret? Uh, none. None at all. 
That's unfortunate. Alright then, in this case, I'm going to go ahead and just start auto-casting all of these, as they are pretty much necessity all the time. And is there anything else I need here? Uh, no, no, I don't think so. Let me get one more Zealot to round it off. And then I want to go for Adept Pressure. Ooh, here we go. This is the damage we're looking for, guys. Alright, so I'm going to have to clean up some infested civilians while I read it. And he's got... Ah, I like the Karak Sentinels. May solve a lot of problems. Alright, next up, let me go ahead and do this. Because we know this is lasting more than five minutes. For as much as I would love to be able to push pressure them out of the game this early in, I don't think it's going to happen. Let's get our... Let's, let's do our due diligence, get our economy going, and just keep pressure on the middle. We should still own the middle after this, as our uh, Cal Dallas will slice through a pretty much a large amount of fire bats. Oh dear. Is he gonna do it? Yeah, we're gonna do it. It's gonna be painful, but we came out on top. Now remember those fire bats are armored, so they lose pretty terribly to immortals. And the fire bats do extra damage versus light, so things like adepts. However, uh, adepts are ranged, and the, uh, well, the zealots will keep will keep all of the fire bats at that range for the adepts to capitalize on it. So if we just get a bunch of them back here, they'll keep up the damage output, especially once we get uh, Talus with the upgrade, which does additional damage. Causes them to have a, a bit more vulnerability. So it's, it's, it's almost like an armor wrench here. Let me go ahead and read it off for you. It bounces five additional times and, oh no, that's not gonna be on on this. This, this one upgrades it to hit more units as it bounces back to to and fro. Where is the actual Talus unit? Uh, champions. I'm gonna have to gonna have to read it off once we actually purchase Talus. But for now, let's just deal some damage to these guys. Uh oh. Are they stacking enough? I think they've actually stacked enough to cleave through our zealots. Alright, in that case, we uh let's go ahead and start ticking up and get get out those immortals with a harder counter. So what makes this very powerful is that it deals not only a lot of damage, it's eight Eight bounces with 25 damage each unit, and uh, where is it? Ah, Ricochet Glaive to t causes each unit to take additional damage for five seconds, which is actually really good, especially when there's a lot of other adepts doing tiny hits to and fro. Uh oh, uh, these Widow Mines are going to cause a little bit of a problem for us, uh, mostly because they're invisible, and most of us aren't tier two yet, which is a little bit problematic. Uh, this guy is tier three, which is nice. Um, hmm, okay. Well, we're gonna have to clean all of this up, which I think our zealots can do, but we're gonna not be able to clean up. Not gonna be able to clean up the fire bats once they- Oh, the widow mine hurts so bad. Oh dear, that's unfortunate. Okay, we lost- Oh, that is so many fire bats. Oh my. That's, um, that's a lot of dead protoss all in one place. Oh dear. Alright. Well, fortunately... Uh, we should be able to hold them off of our bunker without any significant damage taken. Alright. I need to immediately get Immortals. Let's put you behind the line of Immortals, please. Thank you. And then Immortal goes here. And, oh, okay, yeah. He, he knows what's going on. He knows what's up. He knows what I'm doing. Uh, this is just going to be more painful. I need detection as well. Let's go ahead and slap you right in front. We immediately get you available, and oh, I wish I had enough for one more, one more immortal before the brown starts, but that's not going to be the case. Oh well. Ah, now we get to watch our zealots cleave through the infested terrans, which is actually quite enjoyable. Like, look at them all jump on the zealots, and the zealots just don't care. Now, for, unfortunately, the zealots do care a lot about the widow mines, and uh, widow mines are going to going to clean us up. So, how much damage can we do to these fire bats? I don't think much, mostly because there are a lot of them. That's a, an absurd amount of fire bats. You know, it's working. You need to get more of these guys to do more damage. Uh, once we get the upgrade for for uh, Taldorin here, uh, the one thing that makes it really strong versus melee units like the fire bat is it actually does knock back. It has this kind of vacuum-like force that knocks the units around every time every time Taldorin fires off a shot. And it causes the units to uh, have to walk back into melee position in order to, f to, to attack again. So it's really good, and I want to invest into it as soon as possible. And that should solve a lot of our, a lot of our issues here. Definitely need to get some more, uh, some more adepts on the back line for damage amplification reasons. Alright, you're good. You could get Taldorin. Alright. There we go. There we go. Come on. 
Oh, we have so many allies going for tier three. That's uh, it's gonna put us put us way far behind, not only economically but uh, oh dear, oh dear, oh my. All right, well at least the uh, mortals are doing good work. We just we need more. We need more. You know, in all honesty, I. A little bit anxious, a little bit worried that we're going to be throwing this match away. Because things like Widow Mines work very well versus aircraft. Which uh, appears to be what my teammate wants to go for. Because Karex, the things he unlocks at tier 3 are the... Well, all of his aircraft, like his carriers, which is pretty much what everyone goes for. Uh, there are also the, uh, the Colossi. Those are not as popular, but they are useful in cases. Uh, cases like this, for example, where we have a lot of tiny units. Um, curious what he's going to go for, but in either way, we are sacrificing significant um, ground for this. We're sacrificing middle control time, so they're getting a massive economic bonus just for, well, owning the middle right now. Which is going to be problematic for us. Alright, so it looks like our big zealot survived this time, which is good because he could take a few more hits. We need more immortals, guys. We need so many more immortals. And I gotta desperately hope that the, uh... Ooh, look, all you have to do is get to Alderaan, and suddenly we're walking across. Come on, come on with the carry. I could do this. As marches across the fields, and uh, start punching their cannon a little bit better, a little bit more. Come on, punch it, punch it, punch it! Yes, bonus monies. That will give us a good healthy boost. We get this guy, and then save for Phoenix. I should have gotten Phoenix first. Should have gotten Phoenix first because I'm not gonna get the money before the. Okay, it's fine. Well, at least we know that my teammate is going for uh, support carriers. Uh, keep in mind that we are facing off against a Han and Horner. So going something like a capital ship such as uh, support carriers will die horribly to Han and Horner's uh, well bread and butter unit, being the um, being the Viking. So you really got to be extremely careful about building support carriers when there's a Han and Horner and you got to do something to force them out of building Vikings which we're not currently doing which is gonna be a problem I imagine very quickly here oh dear uh, infested Marines are very good versus immortals so that's going to hurt us significantly all right carriers do your thing I'm gonna need you let's put Phoenix down put him in the back I need him to be in Dragoon form because your green form is where the real damage output is, and I need more immortals here. I also need to increase my line of zealots. As painful as it is to be building zealots against things like counter zealots, I need to have a front line that isn't adepts, nor immortals. All right, let's build a couple of you guys, put you one of you here, and want to get this extension as soon as possible. I get one more conservator. Uh, the conservators have the uh, guardian shield ability, and it's really, really good. It's called protective field. Basically, does the same thing. A slightly different mechanic. It does a flat uh, percentage reduction, rather or a percentage reduction rather than a, a flat reduction, but same kind of idea. Oh dear. All right, Taldrin, do your gravity thing. Yank them off the. Yank them off your brethren. There we go. It's like a, it's like a one, it's like a fraction of a second stun every time he fires, which is really good. Oh dear, so many widow mines, so many widow mines, guys. All right, all right. This is, this is good. We still have our units. They're marching across, and they have the life regeneration, which is really good. Taldrin, no. Oh well. Dear, oh my. All right, let's get some more of these guys going up. So we can start building things to deal with their aircraft. And, uh, the best things to deal with their aircraft at this point would be our scouts, which is always concerning because the scouts are are very vulnerable to Hunt and Horner in a similar manner to the support carriers. Uh, but the support carriers are actually okay. Uh, Hyperion. I was wondering when this was going to come out because he has had nothing but these fire bats for some time. Uh, and this is an indicator that I need to absolutely start building nothing but scouts immediately. Uh, as the Hyperion's going to be a problem if we don't take him out. Thankfully, we have teammates that have already specced into dealing with a fair amount of anti air in the form of something like Ares that are already at 3 3, which is kind of impressive. And, uh, well. Immortals only shoot ground, so they're just going to lock onto the ground target, in this case the Nexus, and just start pummeling it. Let's get our Phoenixes before before things really kick off. Our Phoenixes, our Scouts, before things really kick off. Get the upgrade for you, give you plus one range. Adida. Definitely want Mojo as soon as possible. 
His, well, missile barrage is very, very strong. Let's see. Will the Hyperion even these odds? So the Hyperion is not upgraded at all, which is kind of surprising. Uh, looks like he upgraded the fire bats, which is definitely not an ideal scenario if he's going to be going for so strong in the air. But this is one of the things. If you don't have, you don't have shields on your base to recharge to tank for you, you can't just start throwing away all of your money into technology. You're just going to get overrun on the ground, and it's super punishing for it. But for now, if you guys want more strategy, make sure to come check back on our livestream days, because this round is over, and I'll see you guys later.